the elements of harmony. Magical artifacts that are making our world peaceful and habitable for all of us were said to have been built out of the rarest crystals from all the corners of Equestria. For generations, their bearers had the duty to protect us from the chaos. But without them, we would be condemned to fear ourselves and others. It's said that if the elements of harmony were to disappear, a beautiful alicorn mare with a golden mane and silver wings would guide us to find them back. The endless night is about to begin, and the alicorn is nowhere in sight. My name is Derpy Hooves. I am a simple Pegasus pony from Ponyville. However, there is something different about me that you must know. I have strabismus, meaning my eyes are not properly aligned with each other. My problem was neurological. The doctors couldn't do anything to correct the problem. It's not only with my vision. It's also affecting the front of my body, giving me my derpy hooves. My clumsiness is so important that it was represented by my cutie mark. Seven bubbles representing both luck and fragility. They joked about the way I acted saying that I was just stupid and silly. This was not my fault. This was the way I was, and I couldn't do anything about it. I wished to get my body fixed. Later, I realized it was not what I really wanted. What I wanted was respect, and I had to earn it by myself. Despite being a great flyer raised by a former Wonderbolts member, I couldn't join them because they didn't trust my impaired vision. Instead, I used my silly eyes as an advantage and became one of the best male mares of Ponyville, using my nearsighted vision to keep my focus on my mail. I know I will have to live with this for the rest of my life, but I don't really mind anymore. My best memories are from the voices of my friends and my family. 
I don't need perfect vision to be happy. I might be unable to walk correctly either, but I still got my wings, and I will live with it. Some would say that I never had any chance, but I'm here to prove they're wrong. You want to make the Endless Night happen, Princess Celestia, and I won't allow you to blind those who are important to me. Dear Princess Celestia, my name is Dinky Hooves, the daughter of Derpy Hooves. I am a simple unicorn filly from Ponyville. However, there is something rare about me. I have horn and verses. Rather than turning counterclockwise like most unicorns, it turns clockwise. My special horn made me feel very different from other unicorns as all the spells that we learn are written in counterclockwise magic, I couldn't cast a single one of them. I didn't want to be called a silly horned and mocked for this, but I could not do anything about it. I remember one night, my mommy told me, what matters is not what you are, but what you do. I might be blind, but I can still see that you are brilliant. Hmm. Don't think about your horn. Think about the thing it's connected to instead. I understood that day that I had to accept my horn and work hard if I wanted to cast magic. So I started studying it. She was just a pegasus who raised me as her daughter. She couldn't teach me anything about magic. So she asked her unicorn friends to teach me instead. Final Scratch, a disc pony with a backwards note representing her musical talent and her ability to reinvent it, taught me about magical arts. Amethyst Star, a crystal magician with three gemstones representing her talent with things that are precious, taught me about altruistic magics. And Lyra Heartstrings, an inventor with a lyre representing her talent with finely tuned tools, taught me about magical sciences. But Derpy still taught me something important. She told me to never give up and that there was always a solution to your problems. I read books after books to finally understand magic so I could rewrite my spells for my special horn. And at the end, I finally did what other unicorns could do. It's not perfect, however. My translation is not that accurate and I often make mistakes, but still, I can do something. You want to make the endless night, and I can't allow you to do this. I'm just a filly, 
and I might not be very strong, but I must do something about it. Don't worry, Dinky. I'm sure they will come back very soon. Why don't I show you a new spell while we are waiting for them? And I could bake you some muffins, too. There is something wrong right now. First with the moon, then Mommy and Daddy leaving Canterlot without telling me why. I have a deep feeling that the story of Nightmare Moon is going to happen again. I cannot stay here and do nothing while Equestria is falling into darkness. I have to go there and help them. I cannot let you go to Canterla on your own. You know you're too young for that. Leave it to the big persons instead. I'm sure they will- <gasps> Ditsy. Where's Dinky? I thought you were- Dinky is safe. I came here as soon as your sister told me about it. Tell me what happened. When Princess Twilight read out loud the letter I had to deliver, it said that Princess Luna required her help. When she got trapped on the moon, I understood that something bad happened to her. I saw the elements of harmony vanish, and Princess Celestia told me that she wanted to never make the sun rise again. I just have to save her. I can't let you become blind from the lack of sunlight. I just have to save you from this. I just need to- Dissy, you can barely walk in a straight line. I know you can do incredible things all by yourself, but let us help you with this. Please. You gathered them all with you? I couldn't go alone. We are friends, after all. Only if we work together will we be able to gather back the Elm's Harmony. If we don't do this, a question will freeze, and I can't let this happen. It's not about me and you. It's just something that has to be done, and I need your help. You're right. I shouldn't have tried to do this only by myself. Now, let's find back the elements, together. and it can corrupt its user. You didn't sleep for more than a thousand of years and you simply ran out of energy. And like the sun would do, you are turning into a supernova. All the pressure on you made you collide and now you're attracting us in your fall. Dinky, you... Are you mad at me for going away from the house, Mommy? No, Dinky. I am so happy to know that you're safe. Not for a long time, my little friend. Princess Celestia, no matter what you are gonna do, we will find a way to get back the elements and save you from what you have become. Don't think you will be able to find them. They are gone forever now. Well then, 
I'll have to save you all by myself. You keep being delusional, but a blind pegasus like you is worthless here. Today, a blind pegasus reminded me of an important lesson. Despite her impaired vision and her inability to move correctly her front hooves, she reminded me of the importance of determination when she confronted me without any doubts. Her determination influenced her daughter, a unicorn with a special horn, to find back the elements of harmony even if we thought that they were gone. With all these years, I completely forgot what were actually the elements. These are symbols and nothing else. The true power of harmony resides inside of us and not inside the artifacts that we are wielding. The two prove to be the third alicorn representing the forgotten element of inspiration and magic. For the first and the second one, we already know the story. <laughs> 